Hi kids, my name is Catherine. How are you today? We have an exciting time planned for you, but let's find our friend Bowie first. Have any of you seen him? Let's call out to him. On the count of three, let's yell, Oh Bowie! One, two, three. Oh Bowie, where are you? Coming! I have to find my new hat! Bowie, hurry up! Hi kids! Sorry I was a little late. I was looking for my new hat. I'm getting ready for a little vacation. Ooh, you're going on a vacation, Bowie? That sounds fun. Where are you going? I'm going on a little fishing trip with some friends. Have you been fishing before? No, but I'm excited about learning. I've got my brand new pole. That's a pretty cool fishing pole. Do you even know how to fish? No, but I'm going to learn. That sounds fun. I'm happy for you. Well, this month we've been learning something very important. Can you and all of our friends tell me who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right. Great job, kids, and great job, Bowie. We've been learning a Bible verse together this summer. Let's say it together. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Now we can practice with our friends, Addie and Logan. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Let's say that again. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. That was fun, kids. Bye. Thank you, Addie and Logan. That was great. Yeah, it was. Now let's sing and dance together. We love Jesus, so let's sing and worship him together. Everyone stand up and dance. Let's see you get moving. He's the chosen one. He's the champion. The winner for all time. With me to the end. Jesus is my friend.
singing and dancing. It's time for our story now so everyone can sit down. Our true story today is about a man named Paul. You can find his story in the Bible. Paul believed in Jesus. He wrote letters to people telling them that Jesus is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Paul also traveled to cities to tell people that Jesus is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Yes, Paul traveled lots of places. Now let's play a game. I spy with my little eyes something that floats, carries people across the water, and sometimes people fish in them. Do you see it? Yes, it's a boat. Sometimes Paul rode in a boat when he traveled. One of the cities Paul traveled to was called Rome. Rome is a big, beautiful city and lots of people live there. The people in Rome are very smart and like to talk about important things. So while Paul was there, he talked to the people about Jesus. Paul knew that nothing is more important than Jesus. Lots and lots of people came to hear what Paul had to say about him. Paul would start talking about Jesus when the sun came up early in the morning, and he'd keep talking about Jesus till the sun went down and the moon came up late at night. From morning until night, Paul told the people in Rome that Jesus is the truth. Jesus tells the truth when he says he is God's son. Jesus tells the truth when he says that if you believe in him, you will be his friend forever. Jesus tells the truth when he says he loves us and will never leave us. Everything Jesus says is the truth, so we can believe in him. Many of the people who heard what Paul said about Jesus believed in Jesus and decided to follow him. And because Jesus tells the truth, we can believe in him too. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Tell me again. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Wow. You guys were so awesome helping me tell today's Bible story. Thank you for hanging out with us. Now let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus. Thank you that we can believe in Jesus and have a relationship with him. Thank you that Jesus always tells the truth and we can trust in everything that he says. And thank you that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Amen. 
Well, we had a great time with you guys today. I'm so glad I got to see you. And we'll see you next week. See you next week.